Michelle Abraham has everything you need to know, from local eats and celebrity interviews to trending topics and more. Right now on Good Day Stateline. Hi and welcome to Good Day Stateline. It's Thursday, August 17th. We're kicking things off tonight with the winner of Gordon Ramsay's Food Stars, Chris Canick. Congratulations, Chris. How's it feel to actually be able to talk about winning? Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, thank you. Thanks for having me. Uh, it feels great, actually. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a sense of relief at this point. <laughs> How long ago was this competition? So we finished shooting a little over a year ago. Oh wow! Um, and so I've had to keep it quiet for about a year now. That is a really, really, really long time. So I don't know if all of our viewers know, but in addition to the title of winning your company, Smart Cups received a two hundred fifty thousand dollar investment from Gordon Ramsay which is really huge so like did you have to wait a year to partner with him or have you been working this whole time uh, we've stayed in consistent communication uh, Gordon's a remarkable and sharp smart individual um, and his team's such a pleasure to work with but now that the show's over um, we can focus on working collaboratively on introducing new products to the market where taste is at the forefront. How long have you been working on Smart Cups? It's such a very uh, cool invention. I was reading all about it. I'm like, huh, this is so awesome. And the fact that you won this competition is pretty cool too. Yeah, it's been a long journey. Of a little over a decade now, I've been working on Smart Cups. I started from my kitchen table and now we operate out of a 23,000 square foot uh, manufacturing facility in Southern California. Um, but yeah, it's been a long road. We've had to develop all our manufacturing equipment from scratch, uh, develop the technology and, and take baby steps to this moment right now. Which has clearly all been worth it. I mean, to think that you started that company and you developed it and you worked hard and worked hard and now you managed to win a competition and get Gordon Ramsay to help you get to the next step. Were you worried that someone else was going to add you out during nope. this competition? <laughs> <laughs> um, a little bit, yeah. Um, throughout the competition, I thought that I was going to get kicked off for maybe undercooking me or yeah. <laughs> you know messing up a, a hospitality challenge. Uh, but in that final moment, um, I was really concerned about devalidating the technology because if Gordon had picked something that was more status quo, yeah. uh, like my competitors had, uh, you know, what negative impact that could have on smart cups. And so I was really praying hard that I would come up on top. Yeah, I mean, you're right, because it's not a traditional cooking, you know, it's not like a pizza. You're you're working on something that you're introducing basically like yeah. to the world in a technological level. Uh, so it is pretty incredible that you took the top spot. What's next? What? Where should we go to follow you guys? How should we make sure that like we're we're going to find out where Smart Cups goes? Yeah, what's next is, um, you know, people can visit our website, smartcups.com. We just implemented our automated production line that's gonna let us take on retail distribution uh, and enterprise business. We just signed a deal with a global pet product company uh, to print pet supplements in disposable and recyclable pet bowls, doggy and cat bowls. Um, and now that the show's over, just looking to partner with Gordon and bring out some humanitarian applications to the market and, and, and hopefully some medications and start developing those applications. This is so cool. Well, congratulations again and good luck with everything. Enjoy the ride as you continue with all the success. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. For sure. We'll be right back with Chuck Harkness after your good day moment.